morning fifth grade today's lesson is about parody the word parody is used to describe when something is so famous that it can be made fun of and everybody will understand the joke um, parody is used in comedy a lot to take a famous song and redo the words um, to mean something else that's a parody same way with famous paintings we're going to apply that to Vermeer's Girl with a Pearl Earring. Vermeer's painting, The Girl with the Pearl Earring, is so famous that it's often subject to parody. Now, if you look at The Girl with the Pearl Earring, it's famous for many reasons, but one of the main reasons is the use of this over-the-shoulder pose with the faded out background in black. It's very, very similar to the way today's portraits or graduation pictures might be um, with photography. But remember, the Vermeer predates the use of photography, so that it's believed that Vermeer used a variety of lenses to create looks in his paintings. He used what was called a camera obscura. So he kind of is... Uh, looking ahead at what we would later see in photography. So you can see how the poses are very similar to be able to uh, blacken out the background and do a, a twist of the head to create the pose. Now, we're going to do a project where we're going to be drawing girl with pearl earring very simply. Um, don't get worried about it being too complex. You can do one that is just a regular um, our version of Vermeer's Girl with a Pearl Earring, and the second one can be a parody of that. So you can put them side by side. So one you have as the, as the normal version of Vermeer and one as the parody version. So you might say, okay, I need to draw the head here. What's the easiest way to draw um, the Girl with the Pearl Earring? Well, first of all, what I'm gonna do is um, you could draw guidelines on your paper. I just think it's easier to fold the paper in half and in half again. Smooth it out. And we're going to get our face in this area here, just a rough outline. And again, if you don't like the fold marks or you can't get them out, this can be your rough copy. You can always put other pieces of paper on top and trace around them and make as many copies as you want and it can be nice and smooth but i like the fold because it's easy for you to um, be able to see where your guidelines are and you don't have to worry about um, ripping the paper when you erase so let's just generally get vermeer's face on the paper you can see here how her head and face are in the center her neck comes down. She has this outfit on. She has this large pearl earring here. She has this headdress on that covers most of her hair. This is like a hairband and then a wrapped piece in the back that falls down. A girl wearing this type of headdress would imply that she wasn't very wealthy, um, that she might be um, a servant or a maid or somebody that would um, have to work. Whereas somebody who had a very large, very expensive pearl earring would be somebody that would be the upper class that wouldn't have to work. And so this is this is a dichotomy uh, between this, uh, this picture in general. It's just like if you were wearing your gym suit and you had diamond necklace on, you could see it's, it sort of uh, doesn't fit. So we're gonna do a quick drawing of the girl with the pearl earring. Um, so the best thing to do is from the center here, Let's just put two fingers from the center. Let's make a mark. Let's go three fingers from the edge here. Okay. Um, let's make a little mark here in the middle, more or less. Let's make three fingers down from the top so we don't go off the paper. And let's make um, three, three fingers from the bottom. Now, this just helps to center your picture. I'm your girl with a pearl earring. So I'm just gonna do a rough oval here. And you can see that if I take my pencil and go through this mark here, go down through this mark here, 
go down through here, this mark here, come up to this mark here, you can see that I'm now starting to get the face and I'm starting to get the headdress, okay? Girl with the pearl earring comes up like this, okay? Just draw it lightly with pencil. Now I'm gonna have to have the neck here, right? Neck here, line, okay. It's gotta be an ear here to be able to put a pearl earring. So you can see in no time, I just have the general outline. Then you wanna come down and nose, mouth, eyes. Okay, so this is your general outline. I know you'll do your girl with the pearl earring. This is just a quick sketch of mine. Then what I wanna do is I wanna take a Sharpie marker and I wanna go over, um, go over my lines, trace any lines that I don't want. And then on the second picture, look up something as a parody. So I'll take this picture, I'll outline it with a Sharpie marker, I'll take another piece of paper, put it on top, outline it again so I have two Vermeers, two copies of Vermeer, and then I'll decide what I wanna do as a parody. You just have to look up, um, look up uh, parody, girl with pearl earring, and you'll find lots of different ideas or you can have your own. There's lots of funny things going around um, that you can add. I've seen her uh, parodies where they've put eyeglasses on them. When we did the uh, Vermeer picture, she could be blowing bubble gum. She could do, be doing any number of different things. So really that's your lesson today for fifth grade. Enjoy your picture and enjoy drawing the girl with the pearl earring. Bye.